first, fast, accurate. With Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schutt, you're watching WSBT 22 News at 6. Well, tonight we're learning more about a lawsuit accusing a Notre Dame professor of sexually abusing a boy. Now, it's a story we first broke on WSBT 22 News at 11. A man filed suit against the Archdiocese of San Antonio claiming two priests sexually abused him as a minor. One of them is Virgilio Elizondo, now a theology professor at Notre Dame. WSBT 22's Annie Chang continues to look into this story and any very serious allegations against the priest. That's right, Jennifer. They stem from an incident that allegedly happened in San Antonio in 1983. The plaintiff was not identified in the documents because he was a minor at the time. He claims he was in the car with Father Elizondo, confiding to the priest about past sexual abuse experiences when Elizondo allegedly reached over, kissed him, and began to fondle him, which he says resulted in mental anguish. Tonight, we're learning more about the professor's role at Notre Dame. Notre Dame officials confirm Father Virgilio Elizondo has been a member of their faculty since 2002. He's currently an endowed professor, the highest academic teaching position a school can give. But students say Elizondo's involvement on campus was limited, flying to South Bend only to teach his class, then promptly going back to San Antonio every week. We all knew that it was pretty crazy that he flew up on Tuesdays and Thursdays from San Antonio and then went back home. So. We knew that he wasn't around very often. We spoke to several of Elizondo's former students, both online and on the phone. They asked that we keep their identities hidden. One of them, who took Elizondo's Latino spirituality class, says the professor was somewhat of a symbol for Hispanic Notre Dame students. A lot of the, like, the Latino Hispanic kids on campus um, resonated, like that his work resonated with us because we were all going through a culture shock of some degree. On campus. In fact, the professor is hailed as the father of U.S. Latino religious thought. Time magazine named him one of the most innovative spiritual leaders. While allegations that Elizondo fondled a minor while serving as a priest in the 80s disappointed the student, she says they don't change how she feels about his academic work. Those things aren't invalidated or made any weaker by, by this situation or anything that comes with it, really. And we reached out to the attorneys representing the plaintiff in this case to, ha to ask what happens next. We have not yet heard back. The university tells us today it has nothing to add. And the Diocese of Fort Wayne, South Bend, says it does not have a statement at this time either. I'm Annie Chang, WSBT 22 News.